Yo, what's going on YouTube? Kai here, back with a new video. As y'all all know, Dwight Howard just got traded to the Brooklyn Nets. And he also, that same day, asked to be bought out of his contract. And the Brooklyn Nets bought him out of his contract. So right now he's a free agent. And everybody's saying that his number one destination should be Golden State Warriors. And, you know, Golden State could actually do it because he would go for um, the minimum contract. So here he is. I put him on a team. This is the updated rosters also. So they have um, Jacob Evans, who just, you know, the draft was just yesterday, but we didn't even get started in that. But this is the updated roster. How many games do y'all think Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Dwight Howard could win together. Like, this right here is going to be crazy. A dominant big man. Um, so, this is going to be the lineup. Bro, this is the only thing that they was missing. You know, Dwight Howard, I seen uh, some, some selection saying that if they do get Dwight Howard, you know, it'll be easier for them to beat. But I don't see how. I don't see it. Like, look, Stephen Curry can shoot. Klay Thompson can shoot. Kevin Durant can shoot. You got three of the best shooters on the same team. You know, Draymond Green, he's an all-around player. Dwight Howard could work the post and, you know, deflect shots. He's just a better, he's a better JaVale McGee. So, I don't understand. They saying, you know, it'll be a, a four and five, but Dwight Howard can give you offense. Remember, he still can play with his back to the basket. He just, he got a better jump shot, so now he can step out 15 feet. And, you know, he still plays defense, even after the back surgery. But let's just see. So, the first game, we got the Rockets, but I'm going to skip... Uh, I'm only gonna do one season. I want to see how many games these guys, these guys could win. I'm not gonna make no trades. I'm not gonna do none of that. This is gonna be the team right here. So everything that comes up, I'm gonna just knock this out. But as you guys see, we won the first five games easy. Easy. Like, look at this. Stephen Curry went for 30. Draymond, 20 and 10. Klay Thompson, 19. Dwight Howard, 17 and 14. Like, if this was to happen, bruh, just look at this. If this was to happen, like, I know it's the, look at the first five games they won easy. Every game was like a, every game except this one right here, but everything else was a blowout. And this one right here. Well, this is a blowout too. But look. Bro, this will be so cheese. So that's the first five games. Let's see right now. So we lost to the Wizards. Like I said, I'm going to disable trades. I don't want no trades. I want to see how good this team would be if they get Dwight Howard. Because if they get Dwight Howard, bro, they 8-2. I wonder how many games these guys could win. And then, you know, I know they're going to get another championship. That's with or without Dwight Howard. Because, you know, they have the best shooters in the game. Can't nobody stop Kevin. Can't nobody stop Kevin Durant. I don't care what team you assemble. Can't nobody stop Kevin Durant. Can't nobody stop Stephen Curry when he got it going. And, and you know, when Klay Thompson got it going, psh, come on. Y'all know what that is. But look at how look at how these look at how they're winning games right now. By thirty points, like they winning by thirty easy. Um, look at this. Um, look at the record right now, y'all. 23 and 4. I'm going to let this one go. So they 
without Dwight Howard, I think Dwight Howard just got injured. Yep, he just got injured. A day to day toe sprain. Um, look at this. Look at this. Stephen Curry averaging 26 points. Kevin Durant averaging 24. Klay Thompson averaging 22. Dwight Howard is the fourth leading scorer on this team, averaging fifth, uh, 12 and 10. Then you got Draymond right behind him with nine, nine and six, and seven assists. Yo. And he's even averaging a block a game. Dwight Howard and Draymond Green is both averaging a block a game. Then JaVel McGee right behind Dumb with a block a game. Oh my god. This would be uh this would be just unreal. Like, yo. Uh, Wiz, he's not even getting no PT. That's crazy. Stop at this. What a stop after the Rockets game. So, damn, they look so they at 24 and 7 right now. Why are they losing games? Like, what, what, what's going on? Like I said, I'm not going to. I just want to know why they losing losing games. Kevin Durant got a plus one. That's crazy. What I said, the Rockets. Their chemistry is still super high, so I don't know why they're losing games. But if this was to happen, this would be unstoppable. Like, I don't even know if the league will let this go down. Look at this. Look at this. 30 and 11. After the Rockets game, that's when I'm going to um go back to the stats, like everybody, the player stats. They shouldn't lose. Like, they should not lose at all. So this right here is, let me go to the standards first. So they're sitting at number one in the West, which, you know, they're going to be number one, number two regardless. But OKC is right behind them? And they still got their same nucleus? That's Michael Porter Jr. Oh. Bruh. Oh, man, that's going to be good. Dallas with Luka Donjit. Luka. To me, he's the best player in the draft. Lenny Walker. Where you at? There you go. Lenny Walker. He's going to be a dog. Clippers. Clippers, yeah. Phoenix is still... What? Bro. Phoenix with this team right here is still one of the bottom of the food chains. And the Kings with Marvin Bagley. This is crazy. Uh, they ain't put him on a team? Nah. But, okay, so... As you guys see, nothing really changed. Nothing really changed. So let's go after All-Star. Let's see if we can get the 40 games or another loss. Oh, we lost before 40 games. We lost to the Celtics. That was a close one. 
The Celtics made a lot of dope moves too, though. Let's let's go check that Celtics team out. Actually, he is going to be nice. Even they got to put him. He's six ten. But the Celtics is going to be nice. You know, I don't think they're going to be able to keep all these players that they have. Um, or maybe because I know the I know he's still on a rookie contract. He's still on a rookie contract, but I, what I meant by they're not going to be able to keep players is where's Gordon Hayward going to go? I know he's going to start, but do they move Jason Tatum to the four? I know Jalen Brown is going to start at the two. Kyrie is going to start at the one. So, I don't know. And, you know, Dwight Howard might go there, you know? You never know. But... Keep it going. Forty one and twelve. This is our second time losing to OKC. Forty four and fourteen. I can just keep going, like let's just keep going. Let's go to the end of the season. I'm gonna stop it uh somewhere halfway through so I can um Look at all the stats and stuff again. Because I, I want to show y'all the stats. But as of right now, we just lost like three games. Like, we lost. That's crazy. And we lost to the Spurs again. Well, I think that was the first time we lose to the Spurs. 15 and 18 with Dwight Howard. And we lost to the Suns by one. I'm going to stop right here and let's go ahead. This is neck and neck. Whoa. 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 What? What Kawhi Leonard? They fifth? And then you got Clippers sneaking up? I know my boy Alexander's a dog, but huh? Let me go check out this East Coast. Toronto Wizards. What is this a fake video? The Wizards. Cavs. I don't think LeBron is going to be here, but, you know, this is just, he's here right now, so we just got to go rock with it. But they got my dog, Saxton. He's going to start. Like, Jordan Clarkson is not starting. I think they're going to start calling Saxton. Brooklyn made it? Brooklyn is sixth? This has to be a fake video. Brooklyn is sitting at six. The Bucks are sitting outside, sitting at ninth. Pistons are sitting at tenth. Eleventh, the Knicks with Kevin Knox. This is wild. Bro, this is really wild to me, bro. Wendell Carter, but you know, I really wish, I really wish that they would would have got um, Mo Bamba. I really wish they would have got Mo Bamba, cause Mo Bamba would have put them over the top. They would have definitely been in the playoff picture with Mo Bamba. And then Trey Young, what is Trey Young doing right now? 21.6 points. Hmm. 
Like I said, it, it hasn't been really much of a switch as y'all guys seen. Dwight Howard is injured again. Okay, well. Six to eight weeks. Wow. I don't think that's really going to affect too much, but, you know, going into the playoffs, I don't really think it's going to affect too much. But that's crazy. Dwight Howard is injured again. So he got injured with the toe sprain earlier this year, and then now he's injured with the broken leg. So we ended with 61 games won and 21 games lost. Westbrook got MVP. Ben Simmons, Rookie of the Year, Six Man of the Year, Jeremy Lin. Giannis is a defensive player, most improved player, Chris Dunn. Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. So he's going into the playoffs injured. Andre Drummond, I don't think they made it to the playoffs, actually. So he's going against the Clippers. Well, let's just see. Clippers. This is, bro, the Nuggets, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for, you know, when I do the video. But this right here. Toronto Wizards. Okay. So we're going to skip this current round. That was a tough one. We, that was a tough one. I ain't, You wouldn't expect this to happen. Let's go ahead and check this uh, scoreboard. You wouldn't expect us to lose the first game against the Clippers. Lou Will went off. Oh, so we took game two. And they took game three. Alexander, he's going to be a beast. So we're going against the Spurs. And the Spurs gave us a run for our money. So let's check this one out. So we swept the Spurs. And the Spurs got way better players. Kawhi. Rudy. The Spurs got way better players, but it seemed like the Clippers uh, gave us a run for our money. OKC lost to the Rockets. Got swept, actually. OKC had a battle with Portland. They went to seven games. Hmm, okay. Didn't this happen in real life? I think so. Whoa, seven games. Cleveland Cavaliers lost in seven games. Then we beat them in five. Dwight Howard is back. 14 or 15. Hmm. Let me, before I do that, because I'm, I'm definitely not uh, getting the playoff stats. Steph Curry, 23 points. Kevin Durant, 22 or 23. Klay Thompson, 21. So it's about the same. Like, you know, it's about the same. Draymond stepped his gameplay up to be the fourth score. I think Dwight Howard was the fourth score before. And I think Draymond took a back seat, but... As you guys see, it's about the same. Draymond got more blocks than Dwight. JaVel McGee got more blocks than Dwight. Last round. The Warriors sweat. Well, they ain't sweep them. They won in five. So Warriors beat Toronto in five games. Steph Curry was finals MVP. Nice.
And then the White Howard got injured again. Bro. Bro. This man is injury prone even in a game. He got injured again for the season. Well, the season, it was only one one opponent left. So, you know, <laughs> this is crazy. But as you guys see, this right here was so fun to me, bro. Like, this was... If they do get Dwight Howard, bro, it's a GG for the league. It's a GG for the league right now. Like I said, either with or without Dwight Howard, there's still going to be the same result. They still win another championship. And I like that because I'm a Kevin Durant fan. You know, he's from the area. And I'm proud of him. Every time he win a championship, that's like the Wizards winning a championship. So I'm beyond proud of him. I want him to keep winning championships because it's going to keep being a narrative. If he get one more, he caught LeBron. If he gets one more, he caught LeBron. So I don't want to hear y'all say, oh, LeBron GOAT, LeBron GOAT. Like I said, LeBron, this this conversation of being GOAT is over with. He lost in the finals again. He's three and six. It's over with. Let's just get that. It's over. It's over. That conversation is done. He will not be the GOAT. I don't care if he catches Jordan. He has too many losses on his record. If he goes back to the finals three more times, his record will be six and six. Even if he does win the next three, it'll be six and six. His legacy, I mean, his 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 legacy is still tarnished. He's not going to be the GOAT. So right now, the only thing he can do is stack individual stats, which is fine. But... Comparing him to the GOAT, Michael Jordan, it can't, it's not It's not happening. So let's just get that all out the way because his record in the finals is three game, three wins. He got three championships. He lost six times. So it's over with. But as you guys see, Dwight Howard to this team will be amazing. A hell of a, a pickup, hell of a replacement for Zaza. Hell of a replacement for JaVale McGee. Um, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm out, bruh.